Hello, my beautiful people. I have a funny story. It's not even, this is like, this is one short little piece of the story. Um, but it reminded me because I'm getting ready to teach and I, I have this cute little outfit from Zaya Leopard. It's a bra and it's matching shorts, little shorts. I, it's one of my favorites to wear to pole. Um, <laughs> and I was, so I was thinking about pole. It's like, I haven't been to pole fitness for months and I do miss it, but I like to train in seasons and this is the pool season. But a couple of weeks ago, um, I spoke at the energy healing conference and I was speaking and out of nowhere, my dad shows up. My dad is there, which is super weird. Very, very weird. But anyway, um, skip all the juicy stuff to the part that I was thinking about today. Um, my dad came to my booth with a lady friend and he's like trying to have a conversation with me. And the conversations that happen with my dad in private are much different than the conversations in public. And this is one of the public conversations. And honestly, I haven't had a public conversation with my dad in a very long time. So I was like, so he's like, why don't you come over to my house? And I was like, no, no. what for? He's like, I wanna show you a video. And I was like, what's it about? And he said, pole dancing. And I was like, what? And I said, are you trying to send me a message? And he was like, no, this, this girl, she was on America's Got Talent and she did this pole routine and it was just art from beginning to end. And I was like, what? <laughs> Don't you remember the post that you made? I mean, the post that I made and he commented on it him and his sister were like, what's next? G-strings and pasties, and you're treating your body like this, you're God's child, blah, blah, blah. And so I was like, so confused. Because again, I haven't had a public conversation with my dad in a long time. And I was like, no, no, I don't, I don't even know why you would want me to come over and watch a video about pole dancing when I already know your opinions on pole dancing. So anyway, um, this is what happens though. Like I know you guys also have this experience where um, you experience something and then it's fine. It's like whatever, it's over. But then things trigger your memories. They trigger your ability to, I mean, it reminds you of like something that happened and then you have to deal with it all over again. And since telling the long version of the story from that day I've just had to laugh I've had to laugh because I remind myself okay this is what happens in relationships that are damaged is that the language is different in public and in private so it just reminds me to let it go and my sister has been staying with me for a while and she uses the words bless and release and that is also a topic from the from a book that I love the secrets of a millionaire mind and that's exactly what I'm gonna do. So now that I'm reminded of the day that I was so dumbfounded with something, I just have to remember bless and release and move on with my day and make sure that I'm behaving in a way that is right with me, right with God, which means public and private conversations are as aligned as possible. So anyway, that's all, have a great day. Look, I hit my head, uh, I was, sweeping my garage and I was bent down and I hit my head on Aubrey's handlebars of his bike. Sad, huh? Anyway, have a great day. Um, if you are triggered or reminded of something negative, just bless and release, let it go and worry about the way that you behave because that's the only thing in your control.